Hello everybody, Dr. Trevor Cottrell, I'm back again. I am the Director of Human Performance at the Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, as well as the Educational Consultant here at Athlete Training and Health. Today, another one of my favorite exercises, I'm gonna rant a little bit about the Power Clean. Power Clean is an Olympic weightlifting exercise that's used in almost every strength conditioning setting you can think of. Everybody does them, most of them do it wrong but they know they should do it, so they're doing it. Well, first of all, let's talk about the power clean. The power clean is Olympic weightlifting movement where you're explosively moving that weight from the floor and catching it on the shoulders in a front squat position in one very rapid action. Power clean is an excellent exercise for developing lower body power. It helps improve your vertical jumps, sprinting speed, jumping speed, and overall your ability to run people over. So it's a great exercise to do in theory, but if you do it wrong, you don't develop good power and you're putting yourself again at risk for injury. So it's important that you consider what are some of the basic aspects of the power clean that keep you in a position that's safe and an ability to produce a lot of power. So we're going to look at a, just a few, a small little snippet of that today with our demonstrator. Here's one of our performance coaches, Blaine. He's going to demonstrate for us a nice power clean from the floor. So the power clean from the floor is one action, starting with a, in a deadlift type position. Tight back, chest up, controlling it up, and then exploding it as it crosses the knee, pop. Do a couple more just for fun. Getting a little airborne there, son. Pop. Good. So you can see that forceful jumping, shugging, explosive motion. You put a heavy weight in your hand and you jump with it. It helps teach your body how to explode under load. And that, my friends, is power. That's why we do power cleans, to develop power. But what will often happen is people will teach it in an ineffective way. We often teach at the top and work our way down. A lot of coaches do that. But a lot of times you'll see them coach from what we call the mid-thigh or the hang position. So you'll see them, and, and a lot of people do that. Go ahead, jump. Again. And what happens is they cut their pull, the weight's forward, and you'll see he's actually jumping forward. Overall, he's a decent technician, so he can pull it off, put the weight down. He can pull it off, and an average Joe looking at the other saying, oh, that looks all right, he's being explosive. But what he's doing with this lightweight is putting him at risk for missing heavyweight and putting him at risk for catching it in a bad position, doing silly things. I've seen people break their, their wrist by trying to rack badly, dropping weights on their knees. It's just things silly happen. So a lot of coaches, though, they teach from that mid-thigh position. In that mid-thigh position, what it teaches you how to do is just extend explosively at the hips. It doesn't teach you how to use the quads appropriately in contributing to that vertical jump. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is get you to jump with the weight in your hands to develop full body lower power. And so you must learn how to use the quads and hips together in that explosive action. The problem with learning from the mid-thigh uh, position is now the center of gravity is shifted way forward so that when you jump, that weight comes in front of your body. The weight comes in front of your toes and you have to jump forward to catch it or you have to round or get in bad positions to catch it. So the way we teach it here is actually to control your center of gravity, we teach it from a higher hip position or what we call the power position. So what you're doing from that position is, you're going through a checklist where your feet are hip width, chest is up, wrists are turned under, elbows out, and you're gonna just bend at the knees, opening the knees, and you can see now the shoulder is slightly behind the bar in front of the hip. Here's his center of gravity and the bar is pulling his center of gravity forward. Now he's balanced. Now he's using the quad and hip together and he's going to do an explosive vertical jump action from there. And it's quite easy to teach anybody how to do a vertical jump with a weight in their hands if they're in this position. Now compare that to the mid-thigh position or from the knee. You'll see that weight goes way in front of the body. And you see he actually jumps forward. And this is a lightweight. So unless you can teach your athlete to finish their pull by getting into this position as they extend at the hip, they're going to only use hip drive. They're going to use very little leg drive, and that weight's going in that direction. So you, it's important that you're aware that there's better positions to put a new athlete in to teach them how to do a vertical jump their weight with a weight in their hands. I'm Dr. Trevor Cottrell. I'll see you in the gym.